use them. I know. Because I can't figure them out. <laughs> right. And then this came into my life, and I absolutely love it. It's so fast and it's so easy. It's so quick and easy, and you'll never have to bust a nail or knuckle again, yep. Yep. okay, uh, using one of these, okay? <laughs> and most people have used these where when you get close to your fingers, you have to stop. But did you see what I did there? It's got this little plunger. You never waste any food uh, when you're grating with it. And it comes with three drums. I have the slicing drum in right here, okay? As you can see, I just sliced up a whole bunch of cucumbers and uh, uh, carrots. And look at these split. But the, yeah, the way this slicing drum works, and by the way, it comes with two other drums. You get a coarse grating drum, and you get a fine grating drum with it too. I'll show you those in a second. But I'm gonna slide, slide this uh, slicing drum back in, lock the handle on. Every turn of this handle, it's like having four knives cutting at the same time. So when you're slicing celery for your stir fries, for soups or stews, you can do three or four socks of celery at a time. You never bust a nail or knuckle. Like, like I said, it takes it right down to the very end. So with no waist and no fingers, you get perfect slices, okay? And, and uh, where are you gonna love it? Look at this, so I've got this bowl full already here. But <laughs> <laughs> Next bowl. I mean, that's how quick it is. And let's face it, cooking doesn't take time. Right, it's, it's the, the prep. prep that takes all the that's time. Why, well, that's why we don't and do a ton of recipes because we don't have time to do the dumb prep. <laughs> but honestly, think of all the food processes you've bought in the past right? and how many of them just collect dust because there's too co they're too complicated, yep. they're too cumbersome, they're too bulky, you gotta plug them in. This darn thing, you can in take that little insert in and out, lickety split, and get those prep Look jobs done. We just the made a bowl full chips. of potato chips. or pan perfect. I'll tell you, perfect for scalloped potatoes, potatoes are rotten. But I can make hash browns, right? You can make hash browns with this too. And again, by changing out the drum, see, if you don't want to slice Wait, your potatoes. Can you do me a favor, John? Yeah. You pop that drum out so fast. Can you really show I'm, them? I'm going to show Because this exactly is where you, you go, okay, yeah. I love this drum. Here's how thing. simple it is there's a button on the back of the handle. That was, that's what, what releases it from the drum. So when you snap it on, every turn of that handle, okay, you can see how that works inside. So smart. Now, when you slide the drum into the machine like this, lock the handle on, you'll hear it click, okay? And then. Take a That's look at it. this. So now, if you don't want to have sliced potatoes for pan fries, home fries, raw fries, cottage fries, or American fries, maybe you want homemade, well, homemade uh, hash browns. You know I mean, well, tell you, know you what. what. You know our today's special. <laughs> you saw the today's special. Oh, yeah. It's the grill griddle. Oh, yeah. There, I said That's there's nothing perfect better for the griddle. Are the you griddle, kidding me? The griddled hash yeah. browns? And I'll give you a little tip when you're making hash browns at home. Mm -hmm. Take these, so you know, potatoes, as soon as you cut them, they turn brown, right? Yeah, they do, yeah. Okay, what you're gonna do is put a, put a bowl full of water in front of here, okay. okay? All those hash brown potatoes go right into the water. Okay. Let them soak for about 10 minutes. Dra dra strain them, drain them, dry them, and I'll tell you what, they will be the crispiest, lightest, fluffiest hash browns you've ever had in your life. That's the It trick? soaks the starch out of the potatoes oh. so they don't clump together and stick together. Now, here, I'll show you real quick quick how to clean the machine because if a machine's easy or hard to clean, yep, you it, you'll never use it, yep. okay? Again, here's how simple this is. You've got your plunger on top. You've got this little button on the back of the handle. When I push that button, it releases from the, from the drum. Now, the base has a, see this? It has a locking mechanism that suctions it down to any smooth countertop or tabletop. Right here in the front, there's a little tab. You push that forward. This is the only part that you really have to clean, these two things, okay? Mm -hmm. But dishwasher safe, or you can just rinse them off. It's so simple, uh, you'll leave it out on your countertop all the time because it's so simple well, to use and easy I to clean. I put mine away and because I can. Yeah, well, you, it does doesn't take sense? up a ton of room, it, right? I, do, I literally yeah. have it, I'll tell you exactly where it is. When you open up my cabinet, yeah. I have it sitting right there. All the little pieces fit in beautifully in one little shelf, and when I need it, it's right there, I plop it down, and now you're doing that arduous prepping quickly. It's so much Look at faster. This. For taco night, you're gonna love this. Salads. For burritos, enchiladas, oh. tostadas, for your salads, for, hey, I'll tell you, and any type of cheese, too. This is what I love about this grater. With the three drums, it does just about everything but the cooking, okay? <laughs> I mean, really, it does. Here, like, if, I'll give you an example, okay? Let's say, for example, I want some hard-boiled eggs. Here, I want, I'm not even gonna clean this out. Yeah, you saw that cheese, watch this. How about hard boiled eggs? You can do two or three like hard boiled eggs, eggs at a time what for egg salad, for salad? tuna, for ch chicken salad, tuna fish. I'll tell you what, if you're mashing your, ma your uh, eggs with a uh, fork or trying to cut them with a knife, yeah. look how quick and easy this is. I and mean, it's like a hurricane of eggs coming out of the, <laughs> look at that. But I, I like mean, it because it's consistent. <laughs> yes, it's very consistent. You know? In fact, and, and again, here's how easy this is to change out. So if I wanted to go to a finer grate, 
All I have to do is change out the drum. I'm gonna slide the drum, uh, the small, the, the, the uh, fine grating drum in, and I mean, I've got bowls full of stuff back here already. <laughs> Over there. So if you wanted to do Parmesan cheese, oh, or Romano, nice. or harder cheeses like this, I'll tell you, on, Italian, on your, for, for your pasta night, you're gonna love this, for your Italian dishes. I'll tell you, it, just for, gar for t topping a salad Look with some that. fresh grated Parmesan cheese, that's hey, so if cool. you're still buying cheese uh, that's already grated up in those plastic bags, in the supermarket, the freshest cheese you will ever taste comes right off the block. It never comes out of a bag. Yeah. So if you want to change the, 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 the flavor of a dish, <laughs> use fresh, fresh ingredients, yeah, right? Yeah. All right, John, I, mean, I got to do some updates. So we haven't told them colors. We yes. do have three colors available. We actually have the red. That's the color I have. We have, what are we calling this one, blue? Uh, no, that's purple. That's purple. And this is the silver. So silver, purple, and red. You will get the three inserts that go with it. Yeah. It is this simple. Like, you can't overthink this way. Here's what There's I love. nothing to plug in. There's no motors to worry about. It doesn't right. take up a ton of space. <laughs> you know, you actually if will you get have rid a boat of, or an you'll RV, get, you'll you get rid take... of your big food processor oh, yeah. because you actually don't need it anymore. You do Look not need that food processor. I just put some saltines on the top of the machine. <laughs> hey, for making breadcrumbs for, for a chicken, fish, or meatloaf, throw some saltines in there, turn the handle, and Look at this. That's Instead great. of he, I used to watch my grandmother do this. Yeah. Of course, she she did it for baking pies. Okay, she loved graham cracker crust. Right. And she would take a bag of a plastic bag, uh, or a paper bag, or whatever she had, and then she would put the crackers inside, and then she'd the like pounding? roll it with a rolling yeah. pin <laughs> until the bag broke and the crumbs went all over the kitchen floor. And then she spent 20 minutes cleaning up the crumbs. <laughs> but look at this for graham cracker crust. You're gonna love it. And get creative. Have some fun. Hey, how about croutons? Or here, next time you're having a, a chicken. Chicken dinner, okay, chicken breasts on that grill that you just got, try this. Put some Cheez-Its in the top of the machine. You oh, can grate Cheez-Its for a breading for your chicken dinner. I mean, that would be so this good. is a, it's amazing. You can have so much fun with this machine. In fact, here, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna pop this one out. Okay. I gotta change this up because I gotta show you some fun stuff too. For your dessert toppings, here, I, I mean, I'm getting like out of room <laughs> over here. here no, I'm gonna, we'll put, it down I'm gonna over put here. the coarse one back in <laughs> because here, next You're Time, run out of you, bowls. Next time your kids want a bowl of ice cream, okay, and it looks plain vanilla ice cream, take a handful of peanuts, put it in the top. You can use almonds, cashews, walnuts, it doesn't matter what type of nuts you like. Put it in the top, add some a handful of M&Ms, and I'll tell you what, for ice cream toppings, for cakes and pies, for your ice cream, you know what, the kids can do this themselves now. Here yeah, we're grating M&Ms, yeah. and look at this. It's the perfect ice cream topping. The kids can do it themselves, <laughs> and it's colorful, fun, and look at that. It's delicious. It's so smart. Isn't that clever? <laughs> and here, here, try this with chocolate, too. Take a chunk of chocolate, put it in the top of the machine. Oh, All wow. you do is turn the handle. We're grating chocolate perfect for a cake topping. Now, here's the cool thing about this. I can change this around. I get so excited. Here, I, oh, here, try this, too. How about this? Oreo cookies for cookie crust. Throw some Oreo cookies in the top. All you do is turn that handle, and look at this. You can make your own, your, your own, uh, you know, what do they call those stuffed ice cream things you get at the, uh, anyway. I no oh, yeah. <laughs> I get excited. You I do. mean, look at that, look at this. That comes out perfect. It's a mound. It is that a is mound a of crumbled Oreos. And, and it's delicious. I mean. Why the pretzels? Here, do the pretzels. Why not? Oh, You're on a roll. You want pretzels? Wait, here, wait. Oh, I gotta, hey, here, wait. Try a whole handful of pretzels. You're going so, well done. Hold on. Oh, here we go. We're do having the pretzel. fun. pretzel. I'll tell you, it's so much fun. You're actually not so, sweating. That's the good part. I know. All you're doing is turning the handle. But look at this, for, and you can put the fine blade in if you like to do that. But here, I'm gonna change this blade out one last time. I'm gonna show you that slicing blade. Yeah. Because with that slicing blade, again, instead of coming out, here, where is that slicing blade? Right here. Okay. I'm gonna snap the handle on. That's how easy it is to change out the machine. All right. I drop a chunk of chocolate in the top, and now you're doing shaved chocolate. Oh, there okay? you go. That's for a good one to end for on. topping good lattes. To end on. Or All right, guys, I gotta tell you, I, I have this and I truly love it. It just takes up very little space, and it is brilliant. All right, how would you like to get this home for free? Hey, how would you like that, John? Do you want me to show you how? All right, that. how about this? Save up to $20. It's on us. When you tr apply for our HSN credit card, what we do is we give you $20 to say, hey, thanks. Whatever you're buying, we're going to take $20 off. That means that little gadget you just picked up, our 